This is Bowser N64. I have just taken apart my GT72S Dominator Pro G laptop. This is a 6 QE model. I had to break the warranty sticker. I want to say to all you guys who are like, why did you just void your warranty? It doesn't matter because I just got off the phone from MSI. I have the call recorded and I have written permission in email to void this warranty. This applies only in countries outside of the United States, it appears. For US and Canada, it is okay to void it to take the back off of your computer because by definition this model is designed to be upgraded. As you can see the fans left and right are right here. Probably shouldn't touch anything directly with hand contact. Here's the hard drive, here's the Wi-Fi modules, um, here's your CPU and heatsink, and uh, your subwoofer speaker. Um, CMOS battery, all the components are right here as you can see and it's a uh, it's pretty pretty amazing and impressive looking piece of machinery honestly but um, the main issue I had to take this apart for is I had an issue with a grinding noise of my uh, fan hitting this sticker inside there and then look at this I'm gonna spray it with compressed air you hear that? That's, that's the sticker hitting the fan, and it gets really distracting and really worrying um, when it does it at full fan speeds. So what I'm going to do, since, oh, you can just see that the, the sticker actually just moved around. You can see it right there. I'm gonna have to use manual focus, guys. Let's just, there we go, see? It's a sticker from some of the components that came off. Why in the world would they have a sticker inside where it could come off and get lodged in your fan? I mean, wow. But I can see it right there. So basically what I'm going to do, um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and unscrew this fan. And if I don't have to do that, I'm going to see if I can pick it out with a, uh, like, safety pin or something and I don't think it's attached to anything actually it is it's attached to the inside of the fan I can see yeah it, it came right it came unstuck from that one little component back there I'm not really sure what that is but anyway guys if you are having this issue with that noise on your computer and it's an MSI GT72 6QE, maybe even some of the other models, this is what causes it, is this sticker coming undone. So, yeah guys, we'll see what happens. Alrighty righty, hello YouTube, this is Bowser N64, this is part two of my video. I basically put everything back together, my computer is back to normal, um, I have it hooked up exactly like I would normally. And as you can hear, no fan noise. Here's the fan outlets. Left and then right. The right one is the one that used to be making the noise. Well, it depends on which we are facing. I guess it would be the left one. But, no noise. So, uh, here's a little recap, guys. Um, I had said it was a sticker blocking the fan. This is what was blocking it. As you can see, this piece of paper right here if it would focus hello dude hello dude focus my camera man dude okay dude I mean like seriously dude I'm gonna like turn manual focus off and put like auto focus on oh dude I just dropped my price tag dude okay dude alright dude okay Seriously, dudes. I mean, dudes. There we go. Whoa, dudes. I almost saw it. I almost saw it. What? What? Oh, it's coming and going. It's coming and going. It's coming and going. I know this is very entertaining for you guys. I'm trying to get my camera to focus. It does not always happen. 
My goodness gracious, seriously co focus the gosh darn thing. Okay, you know what? Manual focus is going on, and I'll just pan it out until I can get it to be what I want. Okie dokie, smokey. Alrighty. So, there you go. That's the price tag. You can see it's got a little nick in the, in the top right here of, uh, of where it got nicked by the fan. And it's also interesting to note that while the fan was making that noise, okay, the first time it did it, I was really panicking and I was thinking my power adapter was frying or something like that. And then I was like, hey, I'm going to try to like actually, you know, see if I can see if something's in my fan because I disconnected the power adapter and it was still doing it. I was like, well, that sounds like it's my fan. So then I took it and I um, put my computer, because I normally prop it up like this on a stand that I built so that it doesn't overheat. So I took it off of that stand and I uh, ran it through some tests and and for about two minutes it made that that um, grinding noise sounds more like a uh, card in the spokes of a bicycle wheel and and then there's a little poof of dust that came out the back right here and after that happened it was quiet so then I thought well okay well this is not gonna like continue to be a recurring issue it's just gonna happen once and it's all good although I was definitely a little bit worried because you know it could have been smoke or I didn't know if it's dust or what it was so but taking it apart I found out well I'm skipping ahead because later that night I started using my computer again and it started making the noise and I was like crap so I basically just got off of support with MSI and stuff a couple hours ago and they set up an RMA repair for me and everything but the thing is they don't pay shipping to them unless it's a recurring issue you're sending it in for even if it is under warranty so <laughs> long story short I didn't really want to do that so I was like and then when I found out that my warranty sticker is not void I mean if in USA and Canada and that that sticker is only there for other countries like don't get into your laptop in other countries because then your warranty will be void I was like you know what? I'm totally tearing into it because I mean if I'm covered and I actually had the guy that I was on the phone with on support send me it in writing that I have permission to get into the back of my computer for upgrades and stuff like that like hard drive upgrades and stuff so I'm really excited and when I found that out I was like I'm totally tearing into it and saving $150 of shipping and insurance on my computer being sent to MSI not to mention a two-week turnaround that I'm also saving time with so again guys if you have a fan issue you definitely might want to try taking the back off your computer and looking in your fans to see if anything's stuck in there because I bet I'm not the only one that had this this label stuck on that thing inside the fan because it was like stuck on some sort of heat sink or something some sort of radiator like the vents and then it was like flapping like a card in, in a bicycle wheel spokes of a bicycle wheel so thanks for watching guys been Bowser in 64 super excited about my computer it is running like a beast it is awesome although I did have a blue screen of death and Tomb Raider but I believe that's more because of the game not because of my computer so anyway guys thanks for watching I'm running a scan on my computer to see if I have any corrupted files and apparently I did not so that's good news that means it was the game, it wasn't my computer. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Bowser in 64. I will see you around soon with another video. Don't forget to check out all my other recent videos as well. Really appreciate your support, and I will be around. Thanks for watching guys.